How do we treat atrial fibrillation? Well, there's two strategies. First is rate versus rhythm. And this is a concept that's been well studied. The first paper here is the AFFIRM study in 2002 in the New England Journal of Medicine. This is 40, 40 60 patients with atrial fibrillations that were randomized to either pharmacologic rate or rhythm control. However, there was a high crossover rate in these groups as patients were unable to tolerate rhythm control medications. And you can see that there is a no difference in mortality over a five-year uh, endpoint. Rate versus rhythm has been studied in heart failure as well. This is another New England Journal study in 2016 that took uh, 1,376 heart failure patients with an average EF of 27% and randomized them again to pharmacologic rate versus control uh, rhythm control. There was no difference in mortality, and there was, again, a very high crossover rate in the patients that had rhythm control due to side effects of medications. And finally, rate versus rhythm control in postoperative atrial fibrillation after cardiac surgery has been studied. This is a CTSN trial in 2016 with over 2,100 patients that underwent post-cabbage valve or cabbage valve operations. Only postoperative AFib was analyzed and randomized to pharmacologic rate versus rhythm control. Coumadin was given for atrial fibrillation greater than 48 hours. There was over a 24% noncompliance rate in the rhythm group, and there was no difference in the primary outcome of hospitalization days. Uh, and you can see this data here in the rate and rhythm control. Uh, readmission from any, uh, for any cause was no different between the groups. Uh, in addition, cardiovascular causes for readmission were no different as well. So it did not meet its primary endpoint. So what's going on here? We have three major randomized trials that have failed to show rate rhythm control improved survival. So why is that? We have very poor compliance with medication one. We have a number of side effects by the rhythm uh, medications that make it intolerable. We have high crossover rates from the groups. These endpoints may not be appropriate for certain populations, whether it's mortality versus quality of life. Maybe some of these populations are too sick to be studied like this. But at the end of the day, the more important question is, is there a better way to obtain sinus rhythm? Because the medications really are not working.